Hey guys, Jennifer Healthy here. Um, so first and foremost, I'm really excited to get my channel up and running and I'm gonna start to post um, different things specifically about um, health and beauty and about my cooking and I hope that you like and follow along and um, be a part of this world. So first and foremost, um, I recently turned vegan um, as of January um, 16th. So it's been a little under three weeks. Um, in addition to being vegan as well as um, a 24-day challenge through AdvoCare, um, I dropped about a little over 10 pounds. I feel amazing. And one of the biggest changes in my life really is the fact that I'm sleeping really well and my energy is through the roof. Um, I've noticed that my skin has definitely cleared and more than anything, I, I, I just feel very clear-minded and happy, so I wanted to share that with everybody. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my seven favorite foods right now that are vegan, um, that you can probably buy um, local here in San Diego. Probably six of them you can buy um, at Whole Foods or um, like a health food store near you. One of them is just really here, Long Beach, Santa Barbara area. Anyways, I'll get into that in a second. Um, and then these are not necessarily obviously foods you're going to be using every day, but if you're still converting to being vegan and you still want to hang on to things that aren't vegan, um, and these are really replacements to that. So I hope that you enjoy. So here we go. So, um, number one, my favorite cheese. And if you know me, you know that that's probably the hardest thing for me to um, not have is cheese is the follow your heart brand um, so this is the provolone which I love there's also an American um, and I've already finished that otherwise I would show you the container for that or the packaging for that um, and it's a great brand it's fairly affordable um, the slices are really um, thick it melts great it tastes delicious um, and for each slice is about 60 calories um, and it's about 180 milligrams of sodium. So, you know, just don't go overboard with the, with the provolone intake, but, um, it's pretty delicious and, um, it lasts a while. I think this is, I bought this probably about a week ago and it says the expiration date is in July. Um, so this is considered, um, gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free and non-GMO as well as soy-free. So, um, definitely a good, um, replacement for cheese. Absolutely love it. Next up, if you like dessert, this is going to be a big one for you. I love dessert. I'm not a sweet tooth person by any means, but I do love to have maybe some fresh berries or maybe some cookies or things like that from time to time. So um, if you really want to kick it up another notch and you want to add some Cool Whip to it, you should try this. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so this is by So Delicious, um, and a lot of their stuff is either almond-based or coconut-based or what have you, cashew-based. This one specifically is coconut-based, um, and I think it's absolutely delicious. I actually just put a, a little dollop on some berries and had it as a snack the other day um, just because I was kind of craving something light and fluffy and sweet, and I found it to be delicious. You can probably find this at your regular supermarket um, or a health food store. If not, you can probably request it from whoever your um, grocery manager is. So Delicious is a really big brand right now, and I'm finding that they are everywhere. You'll find their regular coconut creamers for coffee and what have you in the dairy section. So um, next up is one of my absolute favorite brands, which I'm always talking about on Instagram and posting pictures about them, is Majestic Garlic. So Majestic, excuse me, Ma yeah, no, Majestic Garlic. So there's two different names on here, Majestic Sprouted Hummus. Um, well, I guess it's all by um, Majestic Garlic is the company. Okay, so um, this is their raw vegan spread, and I'll open it up so you guys can see it, and I apologize for the wiggling. My dogs are, um, excited over what I'm doing, so they're coming to say hi. Um, so I'm gonna open this up, <clears throat> and it's like a, like a paste. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I'll block the light. There you go. Um, and in the ingredients is fresh, raw, organic garlic, safflower oil, organic flaxseed oil, omega-3, lemon juice, sea salt, and jalapeno. What I like to put this on, 
everything. If I'm cooking sweet potatoes, this is going on it. If I'm making just some sauteed vegetables, this is going on it. I'll even put this on a little piece of toast. Um, you don't have to use the jalapeno. There's other flavors. There's just plain garlic. There's also a basil. Depending upon what I'm cooking, I'll kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, but it's absolutely delicious and um, one of my favorite things of all time. They also make a hummus. So this happens to be one of their most popular flavors. It's cilantro jalapeno. And it's also by Majestic Garlic. So you can kind of see where they're at. And they're everywhere right now. I've been seeing them blowing up there at... Um, farmers markets, they're at Whole Foods, and you can see, again, I'll cover it, but it's like a whipped hummus. It's really light, um, delicious with vegetables, crackers, um, or you can even put in a sandwich or a wrap um, with whatever it is that you're having, some sauteed vegetables. All right, next up is a Costco find, which um, it's almost empty because I've used so much of it is this organic berry mix for smoothies. Here's the cool thing. There's already kale and spinach in it and it's pre-portioned. What? Like seriously, I'm so excited about this. Look at how cool this is. You literally just pop this inside of your smoothie blender with a cup and a half of water, um, blend it for 60 seconds and you're ready to rock. Personally, I maybe cut half of it, um, cut this open, use half of it. Sometimes I use the whole thing. Um, it really just depends upon what I'm craving at that time, but I'm super excited. Great job, Costco. Ingredients include organic blueberries, organic strawberries, organic raspberries, organic kale, and organic spinach. So um, really have to go out and get this one. If you don't have a Costco membership, you need to get your booty down there. They have some great deals and great new things. So. All right, next up is another cheese. As you can tell, um, that's one of the things I miss about um, being vegan. Um, so this company is called um, Mayokos. Miyokos. I was calling it Mykonos because maybe I'm thinking about being in Mykonos. On the beach somewhere. Sorry. Anyways, so this is by um, Mayokos Creamery. And um, it contains organic cashews, filtered water, organic coconut oil, organic parsley, organic chickpea miso, um, organic rice koji, sea salt, sea salt organic, garlic, nutritional yeast, yeast, organic herbs, and cultures. So obviously tons of great things in there. Um, serving size is about an ounce, 150 calories. Um, it actually has protein in it because there is cashews in here. Um, so it's just a, or and chickpeas, I should say. Um, so it's just a really great spread. I'll show you how it is. I've already opened it and used it, so it's delicious. But I like to spread this over um, just maybe a piece of toast and put a sliced tomato on there and bake it. It literally tastes like I'm eating pizza. So it's pretty consistent to like, um, like a garlic and herb spread. Um, and I'll show you when you open it up and it smells delicious. It's almost like a thick paste. So again, I'll cover that so you guys kind of see it. So much flavor. Oh, so much amazing stuff in there. It smells good. I actually want to eat the whole thing right now on a piece of toast and tomato. Okay, next up. Now this is a find, um, again, back with So Delicious that you can go anywhere and find. Frozen food section, ice cream, and it is so delicious. Sorry, it's like freezing. Oh, let me melt that down. Um, so delicious, dairy-free snickerdoodle, um, and it's made with cashew milk. This is so good. I found these amazing vegan cookies the other day, the tiny little ones, and I did a scoop of this in between it and did two little vegan cookies on the side and rolled it in cacao nibs. I literally felt like I was not eating vegan. I'm like, what is this? Like, how is this even seriously legal? It was so delicious. So ha, no pun intended. Um, so definitely go out there, try it. They have tons of other flavors. Um, and I absolutely love it. I try and stay away from almond. I have a small almond allergy. So that's why I try and have things with either coconut or um, cashew. And this is just a really great find. So last, but definitely not least, number seven is this fabulous vegan and gluten-free bread that I found. 
Um, unfortunately, they're not everywhere, but I really want to try and get the word out because this bread is so good. Now, the company is called Sun Oven. It's gluten-free and vegan, and you can find it in your freezer section. I got this at Lazy Acres. I believe that there's one in Long Beach. There's one in Santa Barbara. Um, there's one now here in San Diego. We're getting a second one now in San Diego in Hillcrest. So um, definitely get the word out um, about this. If Whole Foods could carry this, I mean, I would just be happy, happy little lamb over here just shopping at one store for everything. But I do love Lazy Acres, and I really love their vegan cookies and donuts. Oh, God, I sound like such a fat kid. Anyways, okay, so again, love this bread. Had it this morning. I had two pieces. They're really small. And toasted it up with a little bit of avocado on there, salt and pepper, and a little sliced tomato. And it was absolutely scrumptious and delicious, and I loved it for breakfast. So those are my seven finds that I'm loving right now for vegan food. Um, definitely comment below, like, follow. I'm going to promise to be posting way more, some recipes and me cooking and my life as a vegan. So thanks so much, guys. Have a good day. Be awesome.